What's up, everybody? It's your favorite couple of Hubbards. Hi. And we're back again. I know we've been missing for quite some time. A very long time. Yeah. <laughs> we actually had a discussion of how long it's been since we've done this. Yeah. But the good news is we're back and we're ready to provide more content and be more consistent. So. Right. We apologize. <laughs> we, we, we just apologize. That's all we can do. We, we apologize. We know we've been missing in action, but we're back now. Uh, we prayed, and so we're going to get back on our straight talk um, about life and about all that we do. Yeah. So, oh, the topic ideas. What we need you guys to do, we need you to put into the chat um, or comment section what topics you would like to discuss or like for us to discuss. It's straight talk. Whatever subjects you want to talk about, we're open to talking about them. And so, we're an open book, so. <laughs> yeah, you can ask us how we dealt with it, if we've ever dealt with it, and we'll let you know those particular things. So we need your help in helping us provide you with, with content the, you want to hear. Right. So what brings us to this point? Why are we here right now? Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Easter just passed, and normally... I get two nice pictures a year with my family, Easter and Mother's Day. So weeks in advance, I asked my family, hey, what color would you guys like to wear for Easter this year? Everybody drags their feet. So here we are two days before Easter, we have nothing. Nothing. And I was furious, like literally irate about this. To the point where I wouldn't even talk to him. I didn't want him to look at me, I didn't want him to talk to me, like I was angry. We. <laughs> We went in separate vehicles to church Sunday because I didn't want to be around him. And I said, and I'm not going to fake it either. So, yeah. The whole so night. I came home. I had time to myself because he and the kids, you know, were at my mo my mother-in-law. And I just like, why am I so mad about this? Like, I can't understand why am I so angry? And then it hit me. I was so angry because we were getting along. Yes. Yeah. And as... as as strange as that sounds, that's that's what it is. And and guess what? That's the topic of this discussion. We getting along though. We getting along though. And that, and that was it. And I was like, why? Like, what? You you that angry over some clothes? That's why I'm, I'm like, why are you so upset? I felt like a crazy woman, but I had time to think about it. And so, what was happening is we were getting along great. We were the best of friends. Hold on, hold on, because we, we got to go back to what okay. you forgot about the date night. You forgot about the date night. Okay. You forgot about the so, date night. So, I was kind of, you know, noticing that we weren't putting time in for each other. So, I planned this date night in. I was going to make him this special dinner. And it was good, And too. we were going to sit. We were going to have a candlelight dinner, get rid of those kids, and just have some us time. Right. We're going to put a picture of the meal because the, the food was off the chain. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you, it was restaurant quality and the candle she didn't want me to show y'all this but she said the candlelight dinner and so we didn't have we, we, we got candles right we have candle holders we, we don't have candles yes, we do yeah because we got the, like the tall glasses i just don't know really how I okay so we couldn't the find them but we were going we were gonna, and i was determined you know it's going to be a candlelight dinner so we're going to have us some candles and they're going to be lit but the problem was they were the long candles that wouldn't stand up so I improvised. I got those shot glasses from uh <laughs> from Dollar Tree, <laughs> and I melted the bottom of them and stuck them in there and made them stand up. Now, hold on, <laughs> uh, that one right there, cause I broke it. Okay, there it is, and they stood up and they lit. Yeah, I'm country, but I made it work. Yeah, but but that part work. of the dinner was on. We had <laughs> candlelight. We even brought some bought some real plates from Dollar Tree. To eat our real plates and not paper plates because we grown ups. But. Yes, and it's sad, but we rarely eat off real plates. Right. Because, you know, three kids. Right. But, so, but this was special. This was a special. Was special. Date. So we had to have grown up stuff. It was the most awkward <laughs> <laughs> I don't even Ever. know if we said five words we, we to did. each other. We like, did. Because I said, babe, this food good. You said, thank you. I said, you welcome. And that's all we said the whole night to each other. And, that was it. And I was like, okay, well, maybe. We're just really enjoying the food. Right. And it's not that we're awkward with each other and we don't know what to say to each other. We're just enjoying the food. Right. Okay, so dinner's over. We clear the table. We clean up everything. We head to the back. So um, we have these little cards, like um, where like couples' cards, like 
conversation starters. So he pulls the cards and he's like, oh, we're going to do the cards tonight and everything. He's like, oh, awesome. Yep. So I go shower. Ready? You know, you, you, you know what's coming up. We already know. So I'm just saying it's straight talk. So you know. Oh, just ready. Yes, sir. I come out. <laughs> I'm on my phone. And then put it down. With his legs crossed. Okay, I lay there for a few minutes. Yeah. You know? Still on my phone. Yeah. Yeah, and I said, uh, we're gonna we gonna do these cars in a minute. Still About on my phone. About 15 minutes passes by. Yep. I was like, you know what? I'm going to sleep. Right. And I did. And then look, so while she rolled over, <laughs> I'm trying to get a little closer to it, you know. Trying to get a little closer to it. And she like, you know, like pushing me out. I'm like, what what you know, like no, huh? It's going down tonight. You know, I'm I'm a little offended because you know she gonna turn this way and gonna tell me no. I'm like, man, you know. So I'm I'm I it was drove, awkward. I turned over the other way and like forget it, <laughs> you know. But yeah, that yeah. that that was our date night. It was a and disaster. So, hence why come Sunday mm -hmm. I was a crazy woman, right? <laughs> yeah. And the, but the whole thing was. We've been getting along great. Great. It's been it's been one. I don't remember the last time we had an and argument. Yeah. It's, we don't even always agree, mm -hmm. but we disagree cordially. You know, everything is just pleasant. Yep. And everything. so you think everything's good because you're just pleasant. Right. No one's upset. No one's raised a voice. No one's that. Like everything is just pleasant. We were getting along though. Great. But as a husband and wife, we were doing bad. Real bad. It was ugly. <laughs> We found out that we were not being a husband and wife, but you know what? We were great friends. We really were. If you, if there was the ever thing that you you in the friend zone, that, that, that was us. both of us. <laughs> we've been in the friend zone. That's how we've been since I can't even remember. It, it's, it's been, it's a, been a while. Very long time. We, we've been long. in the friend zone for for that while. Now, not only were we great friends, we were great roommates too. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because I, you need something, you got it. I need something. She got it. We, we were roommates. Yeah. We go, we come home, look at each other. Hey, I'm cooking tonight. Right. Okay, baby, I'll take care of the dishes. Right. We were great roommates. Mm -hmm. We knocking out that co-parenting thing. Oh, yeah, we, we got that, boy. We, if if y'all ever need books or advice on how to co-parent, not as husband and wife, wife but yeah, just, just two people. people. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to take care of some kids. Come, mm -hmm. come holler it up. We, we put Abigail on the calendar. We had that schedule down, mm -hmm. packing it where everybody had to be at every time. We were dividing and conquering. Like, we were on it. Right. We was always gone. The kid needs something, we got them. I was the father of the year. She was the mother of the year. But again, back to husband and wife, we were in last place. We really were. We were a disgrace. <laughs> like, <laughs> zero passion, <clears throat> like, at all. Right. Nothing. But we were so oblivious to it because we were getting along. Though. Right. We were getting along. <laughs> so we, we, didn't, we didn't see... That as husband and wife, we were missing something. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we noticed was that we were never alone. We were always with somebody else. Always, whether it's the kids, um, whether it's with some couples we know, whether we're at church, we were just never by family. ourselves. If it's family, we hang yeah. out with family, and it just seemed like everything is A-OK. -okay. And before that date night, I honestly cannot remember the last time it was just the two of us. Right, by ourselves. Like, and that's why it was so awkward. It was. Because we were never <laughs> alone. And when we finally got time to be together, we didn't we know, know what, what to, to do. do. <laughs> didn't know what. It was like cricket when we were sitting here eating. All you could hear were our... Uh, Pups and hitting the plate. The plate. <laughs> that's it. And smacking. That's it. That, that's all, and, and drink it. Mm -hmm. Think you were eating a little harder, so then that way you didn't want to have to acknowledge that there's no conversation right. here, so let me just eat a little bit more. Like, yeah, and it, it, it was bad. I was like, and, and I didn't notice it until Brenda brought it up, and when she brought it up, I was like, you know what, you're right. And when and she brought it up, I got mad at you because you laughed, and I was like, yeah, I laughed. I laughed then. <laughs> and I was like, you know, and then when I thought about it, I was like, you know what, I 100% agree with you, and that's a never. <laughs> Whenever we have a disagreement, it's never 100% I'm on board. It's always I got to give a rebuttal as to why it's happening this way. I got to give my justification on why it went like it went. But when she said that and I stopped and I thought and I said, you know what? You 100% right. I think it took her off guard that I, that I said you 100% <laughs> right. It did. I was completely floored because I just knew he was going to argue with me that... We're, we're doing great because we were getting along. And so why is there a problem? Getting along. 
Yes. And we 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 um we we were enjoying the peace because mm -hmm. we weren't fighting, so it was peaceful. You know, we could be in the same room with each other, and you know what we do? We either be on our phone or we watching TV. Yeah. And so we we were just enjoying the peace and quiet. Mm -hmm. But for us, it it, it we was, it was we bad. lost common interest with each other. We didn't yeah. have anything in common anymore, and we just had let it happen because it happened gradually, and we didn't even pay attention to this. And so now here we are, two people with nothing in common, sitting in a quiet room together. Right. Awkward. Crickets. That's how <laughs> crickets. We just sitting there. She in this room. I'm in this room. Mm -hmm. Let me pick up my phone like I'm doing something. Because we ain't got to talk to each other because I don't know what I'm talking to her about. She don't know what she's going to talk to me about. Mm -hmm. I'm just playing on my phone until it's time to go to bed. Good night, babe. Love you. Go to bed. Wake up. Do it again. And we get along. But one of the things was, we never go to bed together. Never. Uh, never. Never. So this, this this part of it is this, this is how this is how we now let let, let me just say we we back though we back yeah we back I love my baby, I love my baby. we we back <laughs> so we back but what 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 got us back we had to reignite the passion yeah, we had we had, sat had down and we up. made a plan yeah how we gonna fix this because it needed fixing y'all 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 we can't tell you how bad it was bad though I mean like I know y'all saying like why? no it was bad. Imagine the worst date you've ever been on. Right? Times 10. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, it was ooh. It was, it's, it was really bad. The best thing about that candlelight dinner. It was not the my, candle. My candle. It was not. That was the best thing of the candlelight dinner. <laughs> I ain't want to just swipe it off the table, but that's been rude. <laughs> like, that was his contribution. I had to let it go. And I was happy about my candle. Like, yeah, this right here is he going to make this date. Everything is supposed to be. The, the, we turn the lights off. You know, the room was lit, and like this is going to be the best day ever. It was mm -mm. not by any means. Nope. Food was good. Yeah, the food was great. I'm gonna have her to post a picture of the food. It was some catfish, um, shrimp. Uh, what else you put in there? Some. Uh, but it was good. We we gonna show you what it was. It, it was good. My baby cooked. Uh, but we had to reignite the passion. So we sat and we said, you know, what are we gonna do to fix this? What what are we gonna do? And one of the things she said, we go to bed together. Not all the time, though. Not all the time. Because Brenda be wanting to go to bed sometime at like 7 o'clock. I can't go to bed that early. I, I can't. You know. <laughs> I, I'm tired. Right? Talking about some. What you finna do? Oh, I'm finna go to bed. Mm -mm. I know we're going to bed together, but In I ain't going to bed that early. I, I struggle with insomnia, so... If I'm sleepy at seven, I'd rather go to sleep at seven and get four full hours of sleep than yep. try to stay up later and then get nothing. But I, I can't go to bed at seven o'clock. <laughs> I can't because one, I ain't 80 years old. Mm -hmm. Two, we got a five year old that's on 100 all the time. Can you imagine if we went to bed at seven and <laughs> left him to his own devices? And y'all know who, y'all know Brian. Y'all know him. Y'all know what he do. Y'all know who we talking about. The other two, they'll be good, but it's the last one we worried about. Yeah. So no, I can't go to bed that early. But yeah, he we, we wake up in ashes. Um, but we we do go to bed together some nights. Most nights we try to go to bed together. It's, if if she can hang out to nine nine thirty, I'm good. And it's, anything, it's been nice. Yeah. It, of course, it hadn't been that long, but it's been nice going to bed together, having those few minutes there to sit and talk and unwind with each other, mm -hmm. and just fall asleep in each other's arms. Right. And not and, and and the talk is 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 not anything serious. It's not um, you know about bills, what got to be paid. It's just how was your day, you know? Because we are always on the go with these kids and their activities. And when we come home from work, we're tired. We could so we got to find the time to just be us, where mm -hmm. it's just us and us alone. And then another thing we came up with, we're gonna start doing things together. Yep. And one of the things we're gonna do together is read. And I don't like to read. And I know y'all say you're a teacher. Oh. I am. <laughs> yeah, somebody can read to me. We can do audible books. Like, how you I teach it? I don't like to read. I just don't like to read. That's why I teach. But at uh, least you enjoy a good stories. So I we do. Can do audible. I do. That's that's why I don't. That's why I teach like first grade because it's not. <laughs> I just got to teach them the letter sounds and how you know and all that. But but I don't like to read. But we're gonna do that together because when you are trying to save something, when you are trying to build, you do whatever it takes to make sure that it happens. So if that's something she likes to do then I'm going to gain an interest in what she likes to do, and we'll do that together, and vice versa. <clears throat> and y'all know I like to fish, but I ain't going to make my baby fish all the time. I'm going to find something else that we can it do. It would be different if he had sense. 
Because he want to go out there and he want to stay all day. Mm -hmm. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna find something else that we can do together. But that, that's one thing we're gonna find. If he can go for an hour or two, yeah, I can commit to that. But I mean, he want to stay from sun up to sundown. I can't commit to that. Got to catch him. Got to make sure they out there. I'm not doing it. So that, that that's one thing. You you go to bed together. Um, do things together. Well, we said we're gonna start um, taking afternoon walks together on those rare occasions where the kids don't have anything. Just a few minutes, walk, unwind, you know, and even even get for some little exercise together, right. you know. Um, Hold but, hands, I would do it too. Yeah. <laughs> Hold hands. But that's time we have together. Yeah. So one of the things I'm super excited about is um, our starting devotions. Now, we have our family devotions, but we decided we wanted to do devotions with each other right. outside of with the kids. and. Uh, brainstorming, um, you know, topics that we want to study together and everything, and I think that that will definitely draw us closer. Yeah, because so. we 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 pray together. We we pray in the mornings, and but we don't pray at night. You know, it's it's we because we, we, we separate at right. Night. So yeah. we 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 build them, but we do pray every morning when we wake up together. But this this right here, the the devotion is going to be critical to what we do because it's going to create a, a sense of intimacy um, that only God can give. And I, I believe that if you're going to have intimacy, you need to have intimacy with God first. And from that, you can share that intimacy with somebody else. And so that's that's the main reason we're going to be doing this devotion. We're going to see what God has to tell us on what we need to do to draw close with one another. And I believe the Bible is that book that can fix any marital problem that you have. And that's what we're going to do. We, we, we're going to devote some time to God. And but we him thought it was only necessary when we weren't getting along. Right. And so it wasn't necessarily a priority because, hey, we're, we're getting along. We're yeah. getting along. We're getting along. So. But we realized it that it was still, it was declining and it was going by the wayside and we, we blind. We had no idea if it was Yeah, it, it, The Lord just looked at us and said, mm, <laughs> mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> never mind. All right, okay. I was about to say we were just shacking. <laughs> Cause we wasn't married. We wasn't we were married. We we were common law married. That's what we were. That's what we were. We were common law. We were common law married. Now it is it's straight talk. So I'm just gonna tell you. I guess straight. It, in that's, essence, that's friends with benefits. Friends up, yeah. Friends with benefits. That's what we were. Yeah, but yeah. we were getting along. Though. Cause there was no romance. None Cause at again, all. I was already in bed sleep. He come in who knows what time. And then this, nudging me. This, this is old man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> Big bad <daddy. laughs> And hoping I don't nudge. <laughs> like that was it. I mean, no real man, no trying to, you know, foreplay or trying to get in the mood or anything. It was just, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> That was it. And then, and then and when you she pushed me out, then I turned my, so, turn, turn you know. my back like this and sleep the other way since you acting funny. And now I, Yeah, I'm, acting, I'm, in, I'm in my feelings now because she turned it again. Turned all this down. You know what I'm saying? So. But it had nothing to do with that because I'm very sexually attracted to my husband. He's gorgeous. That's amazing. That's amazing. But <laughs> like I told him, for me... It's tied to romance. So if there's no romance, that's just not on my mind. And but for him, Ain't he me all. Nope. nope. And all my men can agree. Nope. We don't need oh. We ready. So again, <laughs> that was another reason. We were getting along and I wanted to just keep getting along. So even though there wasn't any romance there for me, I was accommodating. But that wasn't fair to either one of us either. No. Nope. Because so. I mean and it it is it's best. When there's romance, when it leads up to it, and then, you know, like a <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> But just, just going through the motions is not it. That's not what God intended. Mm -hmm. just, it's not. And, and when you have romance, when you have the foreplay, when you have the passion, it makes it all worthwhile. And that's the thing that we've been missing. We haven't been doing that. So we got to get back to romance. Got to get back to leaving little notes, um, um, sending flowers to work. Even if you got to pick them yourself and go take them up there. Those kind of things. Sending text messages saying, hey, I love you. I miss you. Think about you. It, that's what it is. And what we want you to do, send us some things that you find romantic. 
from, from either side, husband and wife. Send some things that you do to help other people that may be struggling in that particular area of uh, romancing their spouse. Because romance is not something that's just natural for everybody. So just, just do that. And stop using time and money as an excuse. Yep. Because you can always be creative. And because, again, like you said with the phone... You know, you have your phone, like, gives you, like, a little weekly report, lets you know how much you use the phone. Of all that time, you could carve out some time for each other. Yeah. So. Because the reality is, we know, every day is not going to be where you have an extended time. But carving out, if it's just that 15 minutes, spending that time unwinding and sharing with each other. Yeah. And that, that, that leads us to, to the last thing we want to talk about, and that's being intentional. You got to be intentional with your marriage. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not automatic. Most people think that when you say I do, it's done. It's not. And we, we, we've been 19 years. Mm -hmm. 19. And I, I, well, I'm sure you can tell of the two of us, I'm the more bashful. Um, yeah. And so, but even in that, I didn't think I could feel that uncomfortable with him yeah, after yeah. all this time. But when that reality of we've allowed ourselves to become strangers to each other hit, I felt almost uncomfortable. Right. Like, like, let me guard myself, you know? And if you're not intentional, you can find yourself in that situation. Yeah, and you got to be intentional with it all. Not not just the romance and the sex part of it. Um, even if you have to carve out days and say, hey, babe, we're going to come together this day no matter what happens. This is going to be our time that we're going to come together and be intimate with one another. And, and enjoy each other. Um, you got to be intentional with all of it. The, the time that you spend. all You got to be. Say to yourself. I'm going to do what's necessary. To make this marriage work. Because you can get alone. Be a great parent. Be a great friend. But you can be a horrible spouse. Yep. And that's, that's not what you want. Because when the kids are gone. It's just going to be you two. And what you going to do then. I couldn't imagine. <laughs> If if every day was as awkward as that dinner was, it, yeah, it, it, we we sleep in separate rooms. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Make sure we leave, you know, just well, we ain't got to spend no time together. Mm -mm. So, and but if you know him too, you know he's never at a loss for words. He had nothing, I had nothing to, to say. say. Nothing. And I like I said, I blamed it on the food being that good. I was just hungry, so I ain't had nothing to say. But when I look back on. Even when I paused, it wasn't nothing to say. There was nothing to talk about. So when, when you be intentional, understand that it, it's going to take work because everybody has a busy schedule. Everybody. I think we're coming up on the time where we have a little freedom because Brian is the only one that's doing something. So we, we can plan some things that we can do. I'm not saying we're going to leave the kids out. We're going to still do things with them, but we're going to make sure we carve out some time for us. And even within those busy days, Five, ten minutes. Nobody says it has to be three, four hours. Did you mm -hmm. find a little time to be intentional? Say, hey, I'm gonna use this time to do whatever it is we need to do. Whether it's just sit and talk, whether it's just sit and hold each other, whether it's take a walk, whether it's have a cup of coffee, whether it's read a couple of scriptures together, whether it's sing some songs, whether it's whatever it's it not is. A great singer, but Man, I <clears throat> <clears throat> but I do enjoy doing it. Don't you know no? <laughs> <laughs> Don't and, you know, no, no, no. <laughs> but um, I hate talking on the phone. I do. Yeah, good. she can't stand. But he loves to call me on his way home, and he wants to talk to me. I have to make that sacrifice. Being intentional also includes making some sacrifices, and even when it comes to doing things together, it may not necessarily be the thing that you love to do the most. But you're sacrificing for your partner and being intentional so that you're learning their interests. I don't yeah. love fishing, but I know that that's his passion. So I do it with him because that's another way for us to bond. My baby loves me. And I don't like reading. <laughs> I don't. I can't stand it. And I, people say, you're a preacher. I love reading the word of God. I just don't like reading, you know. So, um, but I, I know that that's what she likes. She loves to read. Um, so I, I, I'll take on the book. And, and the thing is, you got to find something that's, even though you know your spouse does not like that particular thing, you got to find something within what they don't like that will still interest them to do it. So, like, like going back to the fishing trip, I, I, I can't take bring fishing and be gone four hours and, and expect her to say, "Hey, let's go again." Mm -hmm. 
And like she couldn't just throw a book at me knowing I don't like to read and I don't like that particular topic or something. Right. Yeah. I can only, I'm not trying to get into all it because we watch TV and I'd be like, what they say? Yeah. What what they mean by that? So I don't I don't want you gotta make sure that whatever you're gonna do, even with with you being intentional, you gotta make sure that your spouse is going to enjoy something that they typically would not enjoy because you made sure that you've taken the the part they don't like so much out of the way mm -hmm. of that. Taking so, each other into consideration. Yeah. And one thing we found out we do, uh when you when you are being intentional and being by your with your spouse, try not to talk about the kids and try not to talk about work. Yeah. Try try your best to leave those I things. I told you the out. other day it's so scary how much we talk about work because if we weren't in the same profession, what on earth would we talk what about? What we have to talk about. Because all we talk about is working again. Right. So you so, gotta find something else to talk about. And that goes back to finding things that you can do that you can come back and have a conversation about later. Like this book that excuse me, like this book that we're going to read together. That's something else for us to talk about. When we go fishing, that's something for us to talk about. What base to use the next time we go. We do. It gives us something else to talk about. Be intentional in everything you do in your marriage and it'll work out for you. Mm -hmm. I hope that something we said here tonight was beneficial. Yeah, I hope it was too. <laughs> because it was very eye-opening for us. It was. It was. Now, now before we come, one thing that we learned and that we, we'll share with you guys later on uh, because we promised to put out more content. Mm -hmm. One of the things that we, we, we learned is that how to go ahead and get over whatever it is you're mad at or angry with. Mm -hmm. Because typically what happened this past time, we would have gone weeks without talking to each yeah. other about it. But it was like, like stubborn. Right? But it was the <laughs> next day. The next day we went on and worked this thing out. And that's growth. That, that's mm -hmm. all we're asking is growth. So, uh, but yeah, we're we, we going to get it together. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get together. And, oh yeah. And we're gonna still get along though. Yeah, we're gonna still get along, <laughs> but we're gonna get along not as roommates or as parents, but as husband mm -hmm. and wife. But let me let me say this real quick. Um we had it, we did it again. We did another uh date night. Oh yeah. Yeah, we did another date night and it was awesome. It was. It was awesome. The food, the food was good too. Man, the food was great. <laughs> the conversation the was, was great. great. The bedroom was <laughs> great. <laughs> 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 Everything was great. We're back. So that that and that, that's all it takes. You just got to be willing to put in what you want to get out of your marriage. That's all you got to do. Put in what you want to get out of your marriage. Your marriage now, not your parenting, not as roommates or as friends, but as your marriage, as you are one with your spouse under God. What do you want that marriage to look like? And just be willing to have the conversation because gotta one talk. spouse may recognize it when the other one doesn't, but being open to hear it, receive it, have the conversation, fix it. Yeah, just <laughs> fix it. It can be fixed. It's fixable. Mm -hmm. So, look, we're your favorite couple, the Hubbards, and we enjoyed you guys for tuning in and listening. Don't forget to put in the comments um, some topics like, you want subscribe. us to discuss. Yeah, please like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Yeah. <laughs> Even if they don't watch the whole thing, just get them to like it and subscribe to it. No, we want them to listen. Yeah, we do. But I'm just saying they don't. As long as you know. But uh, put in the comments, uh, what are some things that you would like for us to discuss? What are some ways that you and your spouse hang out? Mm -hmm. And we can share those things. Find common interest. So we're not saying we got the uh, master book on how to make it work. That's why we're asking you as well. But we're willing to share with you what didn't work too. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll let y'all know how this book goes. We'll let you know how the fishing goes, you know, as we, we, we continue on this journey. But we'll definitely be back. It's not going to be, what, it's been almost two years? A year. I think a year? year? No, nah, it's been longer than that. It's, well, it's been it doesn't matter. We're back. Yeah, we're back now. So we promise to, to, to come back before the next millennium or the next <laughs> century or decade, whatever it is. But we'll be back. And we appreciate you guys for tuning in and listening to us. Once again, we're your favorite couple, the Hubbards, and we've enjoyed it. Thanks, guys. Bye. See y'all next time. <laughs>